Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 3 of Twilight Princess. Last video we did some chores and running around for the people of Orden Village and in this video we're pretty much going to continue doing that. Uh, we got rid of most of the things we needed to do but there's still a, a few things. We knocked down the bee's nest uh, last video so let's talk to this guy now that we've done that for him. Link, I saw all that. Calling down a hawk? Why didn't I think of that? I was trying to knock that down myself, but you beat me to it, my boy. I think later on, if you uh, get the bees to kind of, uh, I guess, follow him, like you get the bees mad enough and they follow him, I think he pretty much like runs into the river uh, to get rid of them, which is kind of comical, but also kind of mean. So uh, um, I didn't do that this episode, but I, I think you can do that. And I'm sure other people have done that. Alright, there's some stuff up on the tree, and I am now going to show you how long it takes to climb in this game. Um, I do like that they made this game very, in my opinion, they made it look very realistic looking, I do believe. Um, and they made Link very human-like, with very human-like features. Um, and the artwork for this game is amazing, but that slow climbing is a terrible game mechanic. Uh, it just makes gameplay terrible. Uh, kind of like telling you what a blue rupee is every single time you pick up this game is another bad game mechanic. And I don't mean to knock this game or complain a whole lot. It, it is overall still a good game. But there's some rupees for us. So let's go back to the store now. And look at her. She's got her cat back. How lovely. Oh my, Link, you simply must hear this. Just take a look, my little kitty Link came back. And he brought a fish back with him. He was worried about me being angry. Oh, just look, isn't he so cute the way he laps up that milk? Say, my dear, why don't you have some too? I'm in a good mood, so it's on the house today. And she gives us a milk in a bottle, and... Yeah, thanks. It will replenish three hearts, and that is our first bottle of the game. So that is awesome, thank you. And now I think she will also sell us the slingshot. Oh, don't worry, you don't have to return the empty bottle, my dear. You can reuse it, you know, put something else in it. Recycling is a very important thing, my dear. I'm sure you never do anything of the sort, but kids these days toss things out like the whole world was a disposable. It's criminal. So what do you say, my dear? Is there anything you want today? If you're interested, uh, scroll through, and I think we only need 30 rupees for the slingshot. So we get a slingshot with 50 pellets, uh, which is awesome. It's just an awful toy, but it stings something, or it's, it's just a toy, but it stings something awful when you get hit by it. All right, so the kids wanted the slingshot. And we have enough money to buy it, so I say we go ahead and we do it. What are you doing buying a slingshot, you naughty thing? You're too old for toys. Will you at least let the kids play with it? Oh, I should tell you, if you happen to run out of pellets, you can also use pumpkin seeds. Alright, so the slingshot shoots pellets instead of bullets, I guess, or seeds. Or, yeah, it's seeds. That's kind of nice because you don't have to buy seeds because, as we saw, there's pumpkins outside. And it even, I think it came with 50, so we got a fully loaded slingshot. And we're getting items at an alarming rate in this game. It's actually kind of cool. We kind of start loading you up right away. But yeah, if you ever run out of seeds, there's lots of pumpkins around here. There's these pumpkins and there's some over uh, by that house over there. I think if you start to throw these pumpkins around, the guy up on the ledge will start yelling at you. Uh, don't waste food, I think. I'm actually gonna throw these pumpkins around uh, just to hear that line because I was fooling around trying to get money when I was practicing and uh, I got rid of all these pumpkins and he like started yelling at me and I was like, what the heck are you doing? Don't scream at me. I'm just trying to make some money, man. Come on. Yeah. Yo, don't waste food. Ugh, whatever, adults, I tell ya. So there we go. Those are some seeds. If you need them. Um, I think we've pretty much done everything in terms of chores in the village. And we've pretty much met everybody in the village. Very, very small village, like I said. So let's go to the kids and deliver the slingshot. And here is this gentleman again. Uh, he hasn't said his name yet, but this is Russell. 
I just delivered something to your room. Oh, I see you got the fishing rod. Colin will be pleased, and it works better than you would think, right? So this is that lady's, uh, the pregnant lady's husband, and Colin is their son. So they're married, if you couldn't figure that one out. I thought you probably could, but, you know, for those of you who aren't aware. And this is Colin. We haven't been introduced to him yet, but we've heard him mentioned. Oh, you got it. I hope you like it. And he's the one who made us the fishing rod. He's a very sweet little kid. Aren't you off of work today, Link? I am off of work. Thanks, Colin. I'm doing chores for people. That's what I do on my days off. Get rid of that spider. I'll, if I want to climb back on my house, I got, don't want no spiders in my way. Link has a slingshot! Whoa! Wow, you had enough money to buy it, Link? It's called having a job, you smelly kids. Get one and you'll have money too. Preparations complete. Okay, wow, this is great. Let's see how powerful that slingshot is. Hit the targets and those scarecrows. I can't believe you two brats are so obsessed about this. It just shows what little boys you both still are. These two idiots will never shut up about it, so I guess we'll just have to show them, Link. Okay, Beth, whatever you say, I think you are just as obsessed as they are. That's amazing, Link! The slingshot manual said that it's easier to hit things if you hold L while you aim it. Did you call us obsessed with this thing? You're the one memorizing the manual. <laughs> You know, as annoying as the kids are, I actually quite like them because they all kind of complement each other um, in a way. I mean, they're just, they're really funny. To my knowledge, you can't L-target these targets. You kind of just have to, you kind of have to practice with L-targeting and without L-targeting. And again, it's going to be different on the Wii, I'm sure. It's not going to be L, it's going to be some other different button. Amazing, Link! Thanks, Link! I don't know how old Beth is, but I think she's too young to be flirting with us. You really are amazing, Link. By the way, Link, were you expecting Colin's dad to bring something by here? Because he did. Oh yeah, that's right. What was that, anyway? I command you to tell us. <laughs> I love the baby, because he's just hilarious. I mean, he's he's creepy looking, but he's hilarious. He's he, he's kind of like the most grown up, even though he's, he's the tiniest and the smallest. It's kind of funny. And now we're going to see what Russell brought for us. Ooh, it's even in a beautiful chest. How nice of him. We get the wooden sword. Uh, Russell returned it after honing it for you. It's easy to use, and I'm pretty sure that's the first time you actually see his name. But we automatically equip it. We've got ourselves a nice wooden sword now. Fancy, fancy stuff. I bet you kids are so insanely jealous of my awesome sword. I know I would be. Look at this, kids. Yeah. Oh my, isn't that a wooden sword, Link? Whoa, she's right. Hey, can I see it for a sec? Seriously, lately these monkeys have been coming out of the woods and playing tricks on us. We want to get them good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Animal cruelty. I don't approve. Come on, teach us how to use a sword. And this is a sword tutorial, so you have to say yes. Yes! <laughs> These kids are so excited. Alright, first off, we want to see that move. The slice! Uh, you just swing with B, right? Indeed you do. And again, I don't know if it's different on the Wii, but um, I like GameCube's me mechanics a lot better. Wow, a horizontal slice. Was that what it is? Was it? I think I've seen you do a vertical slice before, too. L targeting and then pressing B. see that other move, Link. Yeah, the one where you just tilt forward and L-target and press B and just flex your muscles and stab. Oh, please, the stab. Ew. Ugh. She's kind of, like I said, she's, she's too young to be flirting with us. Wrong one. <laughs> what are you mumbling about? Link did that on purpose. You were just getting ready to do the stab. Yeah, I put too much force into it. That's the move she wants to see. There we go. Oh, Link, just amazing! Uh, again, Beth, how old are you? Since you're at it, how about you show us that other move? You know, the little twirly thing you do? I love that! What do you call it, a spin attack? 
<laughs> I love the baby's just so sarcastic. He's like, ah, whatever. Like, it's difficult to do that. I could do that at any given time if I wanted to. There we go. Oh, wow. Thanks, Link. I, I love how the, the horizontal, or not the horizontal slice, but all the spinning really has a lot of force to it. I'm sorry you have to waste your time with these little brats when you must be tired from doing all the important stuff you do. Hey, wait, you've got to show us the jump attack before you go. You know, the one where you go, hiya, and leap through the air? <laughs> like, and the baby's just like, ah, oh, whatever, I'm totally not even interested, this is stupid. There we go. Whoa! Thanks, Link. So, uh, I think I get it. Kinda. Hmm, maybe not. So this means that any time one of those naughty monkeys shows up... Wow! Well, there's a monkey now, speaking of the devil. Come here, you! Oh, no. This smells trouble. Especially with the music. The music just sounds terrible. Aren't you gonna go with them, Colin? Everyone went into the woods, so I wonder if they're okay. Yeah, I like Colin, because he, he just keeps out of trouble. He doesn't give Link any trouble. That's my ideal type of kid. One who doesn't get in my way. So now we're gonna go find the kids. Where'd they go, Beth? Tallow and Mallow went chasing like crazy people after that monkey. I can't keep up with those two. Yeah, well, maybe you're smarter than you lead on. I think I could have taken my horse, but whatever, I'll just walk. They went that way. The rest is up to you, Link. Yeah, I probably could have taken my ass with me, but I'll leave my ass at home. I'll just go on my merry little way. Link needs the exercise. I even like the way they made Link run. It looks a little, I, I don't know, like to me it looks realistic because he's... He's moving his entire body. And again, another new area. We're just getting introduced to all sorts of stuff in this game, aren't we? This uh, is the Farron Woods, if you didn't see that. And I think I actually need my horse, so we'll call her. <whistles> Makes Link's life a whole hell of a lot easier anyways. Come on, my ass. We're going to jump over that gigantic fence. I don't know how... The kid got over the fence, but whatever. There we go. Ooh, good girl. Alright. Let's keep on going here. We need to find the kid. I don't know where he went. He went pretty damn far. Uh, two ways we can go. Let's go this way. Oh, hey! A new character! Again! All these new characters. This is so exciting. All this exciting stuff. Whoa, an Adornian! Hey, guy! Listen, I'm not sure you should be wandering around the woods without a lantern. Just because it's daylight doesn't mean it's safe. There are a ton of caves and dank spots around here that could get pretty dark even in the middle of the day. Here, go on, guy, take this. And we get the lantern! This is a must for lighting dark places. A uh, very important item as well. And we won't be able to use it without oil. It is an oil lamp, so... See, I sell lantern oil here. I'm trying to drum up sales by giving away free lanterns as a business tactic, guy. See, as long as you've got oil to fuel your lantern, you can light your way and set fire to stuff. They're the best. Go on, guy. Try setting a fire under the big pot. Alright. Well, I suppose that I will set my lantern. I need to empty out my bottle as well so I can get some lantern oil. So I'm going to drink this milk. I don't think I'll need it anytime soon. And I can do that. There we go. That's right. See, it's on fire, guy. Yeah, you keep using that lantern anytime you feel the need. And if it runs out of oil, you come see me to get it refilled. What, what's in here? Is this oil in... Because uh, this is the scoop. It's not oil, is it? No. Nasty soup. That's gross. <laughs> this is Koro's special recipe. Yeah, I don't want to drink that. I was just curious to see what it was. You hungry guy? If you want some soup, feel free to have as much as you'd like. But I don't know if you'll like it, so don't blame me if you get sick, okay guy? Okay guy, I won't blame you. Alright, so this is probably a very good place to end the episode off. Now that I have the lantern, we're going to go into this uh, kind of darkish 
cave and see what kind of things await us. And we're going to, of course, continue our hunt to look for those naughty, naughty children who have wandered off. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.